Welcome back. In today's video is all about a hero. Somebody that served in the army. A true, true hero. But before we jump into the video, don't forget to like and hit the subscribe. This story is about a retired veteran named Dave. We call him Dave the Runner. Dave's got a passion for running and he's part of a running club. Dave came running past the studio one day and just came in just by the off chance and said, I want two full sleeves. Dave also made it onto Forces TV. Dave's one of those clients that it's an absolute pleasure to tattoo. He's a true gent and we always loved him when he came in the shop. He always had a tale to tell. Um, and Dave got to tell his story on Forces TV. So, hope you enjoy the video. Tribute Inc. showcases how the military community uses tattoos to commemorate comrades who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. It also explores how serving personnel use the art of tattooing to mark significant events in their service. Five of those featured are Chelsea pensioners, including David Godwin, whose tattoos have particular personal meaning to him. The leg tattoo is um, more of a, the only military style tattoo I have. It's a remembrance to any soldier, serviceman. Um, airman or a sailor who's passed away. And on my chest I have a um, yellow and white chrysanthemum. The yellow and white chrysanthemum is the, I'm told, the um, funeral flower in Japan. And in the petal outlines is my daughter who passed away three years ago, is their um, ashes. It's incorporated in the tattoo. It's like getting a box of photos out. You know, you've got to go into the cupboard, get the box out and sift through the ones you want and remember the memory. Well, I can just look in the mirror now and there's, there's memories and there's uh, stories. The exhibition was previously held at the National Memorial Arboretum, but was so successful it's now being taken on tour. Yes, it's a tattoo project, tattoo exhibition, but it's not actually about tattoos. This is about stories, it's about remembrance, it's about service and sacrifice. If you read the stories behind any of the tattoos in this exhibition, you cannot help but be moved by them. There are two that, that spring to mind, uh, Paul and Matt. Um, both of them have got the names of fallen brothers on their backs, uh, huge, huge back pieces, um, to commemorate those that, that fell serving beside them in Iraq and Afghanistan. Those two gentlemen sat for up to seven hours straight getting those tattoos done, which, and I've got, got a small tattoo that took two hours and I was in a lot of pain for that. To sit for seven hours straight in silence, thinking about those that they've lost, that is their act of remembrance. Leading hand Danielle Cummings is featured in the exhibition. Her tattoos serve as a reminder of her loved ones when she's on deployment. So I turned 21 in Afghanistan and I decided that I wanted a tattoo for my 21st birthday because I'd had one every year since I was 18. And I just decided that an anchor would hold me down and keep me grounded. But the swallows, I would, being naval, they would take me away from home, but they would also bring me back as well and always bring me back home. So tattoos are increasingly used, and, and have been used for a long time, uh, to, to commemorate um, service and also commemorate fallen comrades. So it's a way of permanently recording um, your, your feelings of loss and remembrance. The exhibition at the museum is open until the 17th of April before being taken to 19 other venues.